what a glorious morning today at the allotment plot. Good morning everyone and welcome to another Where Am I? Uh, today I am back at the allotment plot. Um, today is Monday the 14th of March and it is an absolutely glorious morning. We were here yesterday with the family um, and when we left it was chucking it down with rain. Um, but this morning um, about 7 o'clock it was about 3 degrees, it was a very cold night. Um, but now it's up to about 12 degrees and it's uh, I believe it's something like half past nine. So um, it's a beautiful morning listening to the woodpeckers and blue tits and everything else. Um, so let's get to work. The plan today is more weeding, if you didn't know already. Um, I'm gonna sort out where I'm gonna put the potatoes and I do have some compost and some seeds with me. So today, fingers crossed, we should be uh, planting our very first um, seeds uh, at the allotment. Um, so yeah, I've got uh, I've got a big day. I've even brought a lunch with me. I'm going to be here for quite a few hours, and the plan is to uh, to, to strip out all the raised beds, and then down the side of the polytano helicopter. How rude! Right. Yes, anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, so the plan today is to go down the side of the polytunnel because uh, that's where I would like to put some some potatoes, some early uh, early season potatoes. Um, I, I also want to, um, like I said, prep the raised beds, get all the weeds out, get the cardboard laid down uh, for a no dig and um, basically just do as much as I possibly can today. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get to work. Right, so before I get weeding, um, I thought I'd just quickly show everybody around the plot, just in case there's any new viewers. Um, and uh, I would also like to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody for their wonderful support um, for all the new subscribers, um, all the lovely comments and everything. So thank you very, very much indeed. Um, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to Where Am I? Right, okay. So, as you can see, we've got some raised beds here on the left hand side from the shed which has got some big planters um, in like an L shape uh, which is for carrots and parsnip then we're coming down to all these raised beds here which I think there is five um, but I can't see it. yeah again if you're new uh, I am registered blind um, so anyway yes yeah, so I think there's like four or five there uh, which uh, two have been kind of weeded and the others haven't so there's a lot of work to do um, also down in between the raised beds as well needs doing that fence needs fixing and uh, which I do have an idea how to do that um, fence down here needs fixing there is a compost bin there how good it is I don't know what it's like inside I don't know I don't know whether to buy one of these like plastic ones or or try and make one um, but I would like to try and do my own compost uh, yeah, um, and then we've got this side here, which has got fruit trees, which is like pear trees, apple trees. Um, we've got strawberries, we've got a fawnless blackberry bush. Um, so yeah, there's a lot, a lot of work to be good done, and that shed up there needs a lot of work as well. Um, the whole place needs work. Let's be honest. And uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on. So please, please, like I said, do subscribe and uh, join me on my journey. And uh, yeah, be uh, be great once it's weeded. That's for sure. Anyway, that's the plot. That's me. This is where we are today. Let's get to work. Right guys, I don't know, meh, not the right time. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see me. Oh, wait, stop it. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, dear people, so I've done one raised bed, um, and now I'm gonna move on to the next one. But before I do, it is glorious. It is so beautiful and sunny. The birds 
I've heard an owl, I've heard a woodpecker and I've heard a buzzard. Absolutely amazing. So let's crack on with the next raised bed. Cue the music. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of cheesy actually. <clears throat> Right, so I am going to have a spot of lunch. It is absolutely beautiful here. I won't point the camera to the sun, but it's beautiful. Um, I don't know if the skies are clear or cloudy. One one cloud went over and it looked like it was going to rain. It, well, it looked like it was going to go to night time because it was pitch black. Well, not pitch black, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's have a look at what I've done. I have weeded um, one and a half raised beds, um, uh, kind of, but it's kind of, some of it's plants and some of it's like grass, uh, which is annoying. Um, that one there as well, which I know there's still a few weeds on there. Um, but I don't know what's like, do I have to get every single one of them off? But I've got cardboard as well, so can I just lay the cardboard on it, water it and just leave it? Um, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to have to do some research. Um, but yeah, I've decided to have a little bit of a, a little bit of lunch, a little bit of a break, because uh, I'm exhausted. It's a pain pulling up this grass. Like, I've got a better lawn here than I do at home. But... Uh, Yeah, that's where we're at so far. So there's some big clumps of grass that I've pulled up. It's got a load of soil. I don't know if you can see that down the back there. Um, but it's still got a load of soil attached to it. And because it rained, it's rain, nothing, nothing but rain, it's all wet. Whereas I kind of feel like if I leave it there, let it dry, and then I can, it'd be easier to knock the soil off the roots and put the soil back into the beds, um, leaving just the grass. Otherwise, I'm, I'm taking grass and soil out of the beds, which is not really what I want to do. I just want to get this horrible grass out. But it's slowly starting to look better, I think. Anyway, let's have some lunch. Well, here we are in the polytunnel, nice and warm. Um, and I thought I'd come up and have a spot of lunch. Um, now, before I eat my, my lunch, um, I just wanted to share something with everyone, um, and that is, um, I do have another YouTube channel. It's not a plug or anything like that, but I do have another YouTube channel, um, which is called The Blind Angler, where I do fly fishing, sea fishing, course fishing, etc., to try and show that anything is possible. Um, and being a volunteer with the RNIB, basically just trying to help other blind people and visually impaired people get out and enjoy life. Um, and I've made a lot of friends and so on from that from that channel and I've had a lot of support as well. Now there's a certain person that's on that channel that's come across to this channel um, who I'm happy to call a friend and um, or very lucky to call a friend and uh, they continue to give me um, support, encouragement, advice etc. And over the weekend, my darling wife bought me a little present for the uh, for the plot, which is here. Um, and I would this this little dude needs a needs a name, and I thought it would be quite cool to name this character um, after the person that has been on both channels uh, giving me support. Um, so I say, I say they call we call each other friends. Um, once I name this this figure, uh, they may not call me a friend. Um, but um, but this little chap, I'm going to call O'Malley, Mr. O'Malley. Um, so thank you very much. You know who you are. Uh, thank you very much for your support. Um, I really appreciate it. And now a part of you, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, is always going to be up at the plot. Pretty cool. By the way, if you have any problems with that, uh, 
blame Jennifer. She's the one that bought it. But I think it's cool. I think I've weeded it as much as I can. So now I'm going to try and hoe it. Just try and get the rest of the, the scraggly bits. So let's see how we get on. may not be. <laughs> it's Natalia's. <laughs> no, it's not. It's yours. Don't lie. <laughs> okay, so now uh, I'm joined by Jen and Natalia. They've come up uh, with some potato grow bags, some uh, red, is it Red Duke of York? Yes. Red Duke of York uh, first earlies and um, we're going to plant our first seeds at the allotment. Woohoo! So uh, I'm going to give you one. There's your bag. Thanks. All right. What you got to do is you got to open them up. We got these from a local garden centre. And it uh, sounds like it's got a zip on it, actually. No, but I think you've only got enough soil for one, really. All right. And what we got to do is put 15 centimetres of compost in first. So we've got some multi-purpose compost. No. Mummy's going to come and give you a hand. Uh -huh. Hang on. I might have a problem. There we go. Okay, so we've got about 15 centimetres of compost. Dad! Yeah? Dad, I, I, you keep going. And then we got our seed potatoes. I'm going to put two potatoes. It's two seed potatoes in here, and they say to put it with the the uh, the sprouting pointing upwards. So like that, you can just feel feel them. Put one over here. And I'll put one over on this side. Dad. Dad. And then. Yours isn't doing what it's supposed to do. I'll, I'll help you then. Let me just cover mine up and then you can help me. And then what I'm going to do is just cover up the potatoes. And you're going to water them, aren't you? And now I've got the potatoes in and they're covered up. So the next step is to give them a good old water. So we've got Natalia's watering can. You gonna come do it, darling? Dad, come past me. Yeah. Right, nice and slowly into yours. Good job. Well done. That should be enough. And now can Daddy have some, please? Mm -hmm. I use your watering can. That's just my hands. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Dad. That's enough. Crikey, that comes out fast. No, wrong one. Wrong spite. That's enough. Right, okay. And that's it. That is our first seeds in the ground bag. Um, well, happy. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Right, now here we are in the poly cellar. And there is, there is O'Malley. And, uh, I'm just trying to figure out where to put him. Now, I could put him in the raised bed with the parsnips, and he could be uh, fishing on the, uh, well, instead of the Pacific Ocean, the parsnip ocean. <laughs> or in this bed will be tomatoes or um, courgettes. So instead of the Sea of Cortez, it could be the Sea of Courgettes. Um, and I think that is where he's going to be, just there, for the time being. So uh, thank you, Jen. And, uh, there is O'Malley doing a little bit of fishing. Right, let's go and have a look and see what we've done today. Still a beautiful day. But, uh, okay, so I know there's still weeds in these beds. But these three raised beds look a whole lot better than they were. That's for sure. Now, Monday, it is Monday the 14th of March. 
Uh, there's a good chance I'm going to be up here tomorrow, which means I'll uh, be attacking those two raised beds down there. Um, so yes, that is what we've done. That was actually quite hard work. Um, when I started, I was a bit like, oh, I don't really like weeding. Um, but when you're just here on your own and it's peaceful and quiet and you're listening to the birds, uh, it's actually really, really nice. Uh, which is good, because I've got plenty more still to do. And we have our first seeds in the bags, uh, which are our potatoes. So happy days. Um, and I think it is something like uh, 10 to 12 weeks of growing uh, for them. So that's... Uh, that's brilliant, really excited and really happy to get our first seeds in the ground. Happy days. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, dear people, thank you very much for watching me today. And uh, it's been a very tiring one. I'm looking forward to getting home and having a nice hot shower and a nice cold drink. Um, it's been fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, don't take the shower. Yeah, I'm going to have a shower. Um, yes, today is Monday. I should be back up tomorrow. There's so much to come from this channel, so please, please do subscribe and follow me on my journey of where am I. And uh, until next time, have fun gardening and take care. Right, Natalia, let's go.